what's up guys, it's Wolfman Choice the Omni Blade here, here with you guys at long last, my top 5 Green Tome Heroes in Fire Emblem Heroes. I'm sorry this video took me so long to make, it's just that I had you need to deal with and I had lots of lots of work piling up, and I'm gonna have more piling up soon, but I figured I should at least make this video for you guys since it's been a while, so let's get into the criteria needed for a hero to make it on this list. There are only two that we need to worry about. It is that one, I must have the unit I am talking about in this video, and two, I have to like them. That is all it takes for you to make it on this list. So without any further delay, let's get into this week's top five. So starting off this week's top five, we're returning to Horse Emblem. We're keeping it short and simple this time, people, as I'm going to be talking about Cecilia right now. Now, I think Cecilia was a free-to-play unit from way back when. I'm pretty sure she's actually available from those one to two star gauntlet things you can do where you find the grand hero battles so you can actually get Cecilia for free I just remember that makes her a bit better actually but Cecilia as a unit is not too impressive I think what she has is just a decent amount of attack and some res her speed is average is actually kind of subpar now that I think about it more her defense is piss poor so you can't really use her for much of a glass cannon it's kind of like Micaiah syndrome but she does have a good amount of nuking potential if you give her things like life and death I understand that a lot of people say that you shouldn't run a speed boon on Cecilia. I personally do, just because of the fact that I combo with life and death, and she actually hits an average amount of speed, which if you combo that with horse buffs, becomes perfectly serviceable for nuking potential, as with Grand Blade, which you should totally give to her, absolutely 100% give Grand Blade to Cecilia. You don't even need the plus variant, because horse emblem buffs make up for it. So, all you need to do is get a nice life and death desperation build going, take a plus C to Cecilia, or maybe use your neutral one. I honestly think plus speed is the way to go, since Cecilia is a very common unit to get from Greenstones. And you just set her up for massive nuking potential. The amount of damage I've done with Cecilia in the past blows my mind still, just because of how powerful she is with Horse Emblem buffs. And that is why I say she deserves the number 5 spot on this week's top 5. Going from one emblem team to another, we're going to be looking at Flyer Emblem, and that just completely spoils who this entry is, as I'm going to be talking about Bunny Camilla, the only Green Tome Flyer in the game. Now, I know what a lot of you are probably going to say. You're probably thinking, Omni, is your Camilla bias showing again? To which I say, look, it's my list, I get to put whatever I want, and yes. But besides that, Camilla is actually a really good unit to add onto any Flyer Emblem team. She has a good amount of attack and defense, which doesn't seem like that important at first considering most flyers have good speed and res, but it actually is pretty useful as Camilla's attack makes her a great flyer emblem nuke. Like I said before with Cecilia, you can just use flyer emblem buffs in order to make her a vastly powerful nuke. So if you're lucky enough to have a Hinoka or a Halloween Noe, you use the home flyers from that. You just sacrifice fortified flyers from Ashida, or you can use your summer Corrin to do that. Get your buffs there. Buff up Camilla with Grom Blade. My goodness, she becomes an absolute weapon of mass destruction. It is beautiful. But if you don't want to use that and you want to go for something a bit more creative, a Gron Raven set on Camilla is actually very, very useful because Camilla's defense is so high, she can actually tank archers fairly well. Despite her weakness, if you give her something like Iot Shield or Triangle Adept with a Raven Tome, she can handle flyers just fine. It would have to take a Brave Bow from like a plus 5 or 6 or something like that merged Brave Lane in order to even kill our one round Camilla. Camilla can take on Mulligear Brave Lane very well. She has no problems doing it with TA and Gron Raven. Even without Iot Shield, Iot Shield makes it a lot easier for her to do it. In fact, I don't remember if Iot Shield is required, but all I know is that if you do stuff like that, you can make her pretty much the ultimate counter to any weakness for a Flyer Emblem team. It's really nice. I like to use an Axe Baker build just because of the fact that she can double some really slow units with a lot of health that way. And I think Camilla's versatility is why I see her as the fourth best green tome unit in Fire Emblem Heroes. Now I understand most of the units on this list are going to be female units just by nature of mages. However, I gotta give my shout outs to the boys as we're gonna talk about one of my favorite characters in Echoes who is a phenomenal unit in this game, and that is my boy, Bowie. It's ya Bowie, all right? Bowie completes the holy trinity of Raven Tome units, which I worship in this game. You got Robin being the blue one, you got Sophia being the red one. Bowie is that nice, solid green Raven Tome unit that you can rely on to get the job done. He doesn't have the best attack, he doesn't have the best speed, but my goodness, this man can tank. Archers do nothing to him. You can have him go up against 
brave lands that are like plus 10 merge, brave bow, plus attack, having like death blow built onto them. Nah, Bowie does not care. Bowie will just send some ravens at Lin, knock her off her horse, take out the horse itself by tearing it in half with his crows and ravens, and it will be a glorious massacre all because of the fact that we gave him one powerful tome. I don't think I can stress how useful Bowie is. He's just such a good wall. Whereas Sophia is just kind of the nuking potential and Robin's more of the balance, Bowie is the pure defensive presence and I love that about him. There's not that many green mages that actually have good physical defense or are just bulky in general, at least in the physical department. So using Bowie as this ultimate wall is just so much fun and it's such a nice niche for green mages that that's why I feel Bowie deserves the number three spot in this week's top five. Now before we get to the number one entry, we gotta go through our runner-up, and that is going to be everyone's favorite adorable little cinnamon roll from FE7, the best cannon ship because, I don't know, it actually does happen in FE6, and that is Nino. Ship with Jafar, of course. Nino, oh my gosh, how do they make a unit that you can get so easily so damn good? Nino is a nuke. She is the glass cannon of glass cannons. Sure, there are others that try to take her spot, but Nino is easily the best glass cannon green mage in the game. You have other mages like Deirdre and Julia that are more res tanks than anything. You got Sonya who's also a res tank. None of them really compare to Nino just because Nino has the nuking potential. She has great attack, low enough HP to make desperation builds work, and her speed. My goodness, how is a little girl this damn quick? I know she's like what is it, 14 in her games because of one support she has with Candice, I think? But my goodness, it just translates so well. Who knew that copying her mother would give her the ability to cast such powerful spells? I mean, she comes with Gronblade naturally. How much better does it get than having the most powerful tome in the game be your default starter weapon? She has good support with Dragback being one of the better assist skills in the game, and Hone Attack being her natural C passive. I mean, Nino just does it all. Nino is such a good glass cannon and I love using mine. She was one of the earliest mages I ever used in this game and before skill inheritance was a thing, Nino was still powerful. She was so helpful to me in so many ways that I just, I just wanna give her head pads. This good, adorable girl deserves all the head pads in the world, okay? She deserves as many head pads as she deserves the number two spot on this week's list. Now before we get to the number one entry, we gotta go through our honorable mentions, and there's quite a few this week because I do respect a lot of green tome units. Green tome units are definitely some of the most fun to use in the game, just because they counter Reinhardt, just like female Robin. I haven't had the chance to properly build up a powerful female Robin, but I feel like if I did, I'd really enjoy it, because with Gronwolf Tome and Blue Tome Breaker, she is a natural Reinhardt check. I kind of wish I used her more because I feel like she should be way more appreciated because Ignis is a nice cooldown special and then you give her things like reposition to make her useful. I mean, she's just a green robin. There is nothing you can do wrong about that. Then there's Summer Elise who I love because she has green tone valor and is literally just another Nino. I use her more just because of the green tone valor. It makes her very useful for training up other green tone units. I do have a Julia, but she's not that great for me because she has horrible IVs. I mean, when you're minus res plus defense, what can you do with that? But I will give Soren some props just because Everyone seems to like him. He's kind of alright for me. I wish I used him a bit better. I kind of want to try a Water Sweep build now that Phantom Speed can be upgraded. But yeah, those are all the green mages I want to give some extra clout to. Now let's get into the number one entry for this week's top five. Taking the number one spot in this week's top five, we have the pinnacle of thickness in heroes. As we have a green mage, which a lot of people like as a character because she's actually kind of cool. And she's an amazing unit with a legendary tome as well. We have Sonya, the thick queen herself. Sonya, honestly, I love her so much. I mean, even though she's not the fastest unit, she has phenomenal attack and resistance. Because of those good stats, she's able to make use of her res ploy skill pretty well. I was fortunate enough to get a plus res Sonya, so she actually does have the absurd amount of res that other units have like Arvis and Deirdre, for example. And that just helps her become an even better nuke because she does have okay speed, but if you combo that with stuff like Fury or Darting Blow, she is absurdly fast and can make good use of her Dark Excalibur Tome, which thankfully she came with Moonbow naturally, 
for once, intelligent systems actually knew what they were doing, as that's around the time when they got their shit together. So, you use the Dark Excalibur, which is literally just a green tome Wodow, proc all your Moombos, and you are just free to go off. You can give her Green Tome Breaker just so she can counter everyone else like Nino, Julia, Deirdre, but she can also counter Blue Mages with the utmost of ease. I mean, I've seen Reinhardt's literally do zero damage to my Sonya, as all she has to do is just, okay, retaliate now, I proc my Moombo, and you're dead. It is so satisfying seeing that happen. I just love Sonya. Her art is amazing. Her voice acting is great. She's such a powerful unit. So incredibly useful. I love everything about Sonya, and that is why she is my favorite Green Tome unit in Fire Emblem Heroes. That concludes this week's top five. I don't have any more top fives planned for the recent futures. I'm going to be taking a break as I have to finish up my exams back in university. So I'm going to have to take some time off with that. I need to focus on my studies. I need to get that stuff done. Stay in school, kids. Stay in school. But when I come back with my next top five or maybe something else, I promise I will have put a lot of effort into it. Make sure it's done and make sure you guys get something that is worth the wait. But let me know your guys' top five green mages in the comment section down below. Let me know who you like. Let me know who you want to see in this game be a green tone mage if they haven't been added in already. And with that all being said, guys, I will get up out of here now. Bye!